Monica Dominguez Torres will discuss her second book, tentatively entitled Pearls at Court, European Courtly Art and the Rise of the Pearl Trade, 1500 to 1800. I'm looking at the exploitation of resources in the New World and their assimilation into European art and to European culture. Why pearls were so important and so uh, desirable, okay? Why? Because this pearl rush. Pearls were desirable not only because of their beauty, because of their uh, value, because they were scarce and they were beautiful, because also they thought they had all these properties and wearing them uh, will protect people and will actually benefit the health of people at that particular time. This became a kind of very uh, important uh, object to exchange, almost like a diplomatic currency among the different courts in Europe. So a lot of these images that we received from this time um, tell us about a very kind of idyllic story of uh, indigenous people going and fishing for the pearls and then uh, trading them with the Europeans and so on. By the mid uh, 16th century, uh, the Spanish crown had issued an order that no uh, indigenous divers could be enslaved to uh, fish for pearls. And then the solution was, well, if we don't have indigenous uh, divers who can go for them, let's bring Africans. So this uh, gave me a way to kind of recover that kind of um, forgotten <laughs> or uh, maybe um, cover up history of uh, the exploitation that happened at this particular time and the role that, uh, the role that um, a, a black slave had in the uh, fishing operations until actually very late, until the 19th century in the Caribbean.